Southampton restored 37-year-old John Burridge to their goal after injury. Burridge, though, was beaten in the second minute when Mick Harper's header flashed past him. Southampton had conceded four goals against Queen's Park Rangers two days earlier and they were still in defensive shock. Graham Baker's back pass intercepted by Kingsley Black and that's 2-0 to Luton, only seven minutes played. It stayed that way until the South African Roy Wegerly sparked a three goals in three minutes spell early in the second half. Wegerly sure-footed on the synthetic surface at Kenilworth Road. But with Luton still celebrating, going 3-0 in front, they let Southampton in for their only contribution to the scoreline. Rodney Wallace, the scorer, indeed Rodney and brother Danny, were the only players exempt from criticism by manager Chris Nicholl after the game. Garbage was his description of the performance of the rest of the team. Wegerly's second was well struck. 4-1 to Luton, still 35 minutes left. The fifth goal really summed up Southampton's plight. And Luton, who conceded four goals in their previous game at Wimbledon, very grateful for the chance to bounce back in such style. Ricky Hill finding the bottom corner, 5-1. It was a day when everything went in for Luton, a sixth off the chest of Harford. Southampton spiralling downwards, eight league games now without a win.